Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today is hashtag Tag Me Tuesday, and we're going to make these very easy pocket foldouts. They're so very easy that I think it's the decorating that really brings them to life. Now, you can use these in your journal by just popping them into a pocket or a belly band, or you could glue down three sides or even just two sides and use a, the underneath part for another tuck spot. Let's look inside. So you've got a pocket here on this fold out. And then over here you have a pocket where you could place your tag. Now mine is very decorative here. So it's really just, um, just for looks on this one. But this one right here it's decorated like this. Now these bar birds are new to me and they are from Balmoral Prints. I will list that Etsy shop down below. And you open this one up. Now over here you can journal on this side. This one maybe not so much but definitely you can journal on this side. And then there's a little tag here. Now that was chapter one papers tag. And there's another little tag right here. And I just think they're so sweet and so very simple to make. So what you can do, get is you can either get some paper pad papers or you could use some digitals, whatever you have. I have ones that are double sided. Now this one is just coffee dyed. So if you have a paper pad and it's only printed on one side and it's cardstock, you can copy dye the back of a paper from a paper pad. All right, so what you want to do, this one obviously is longer than this one. This one is almost eight and a half. It's really, no, nine and a fourth. I'm sorry, nine and a fourth by three and three fourths. And this one is ten and a half by four. Now, we're going to cut some of this off on the end, and you could use that as part of a tag or the pocket. Now, I'm going to take this, I'm going to fold it over, and I'm going to fold it approximately four inches. Now, you can alter that. Maybe you want your pocket to be bigger. Maybe you want it to be smaller. So, that's all up to you, but you fold it over. Then, you simply fold it over again. So, like I said, it's very easy, you guys. And give that a crease. Alrighty, now let's do this one. So, we're going to fold, let's see, this is going to be inside the pocket. And that will be, yeah, I think that will be fine. I'm thinking of how it's going to look. So, we're going to fold it over just like this. Is that four? One, two, three. No, see, now look there. If I would have done four, this wouldn't have covered. One, two, three and a half. And that's one, two. It's not quite three. I think I'm going to choose to make this one a little bit smaller. So I have enough to wrap around. Just like this. That will be enough to wrap around. I'll just have to trim off a little. Giving it a trim. All right, I've got one more. It's a different color. I think I'd like to use this one. I think it really is a little off in the color. Now someone's going to ask me what size this is. This is ten and a half by four. Okay, so I'm just going to fold this one over. Now I can fold this one over four. Yeah, I can fold this one actually just a tad bigger than four. And I'm going to fold this over. It's a great mess make. You could just make all kinds of these in different colors. Now I'm going to grab my little cutter here and I'm going to grab my larger scissors. I can see here that I think that's crooked. There we go. That looks better. Did I straighten it up? I think I did. Let's go ahead and trim. So you're trimming off the excess if you have any that's hanging over. <clears throat> this one's just a little tiny bit hanging over. If you turn your scissors at an angle, you won't 
accidentally, at least you'll have less chance of accidentally cutting your fold because you don't want to cut your fold. Alrighty, so we've got that cut. Now I'm going to look just to see. It's over just a little bit, so I'm going to just trim it up. Now you can do this with your scissors. It might do a better job than what I just did there. You could use your scissors to trim this up. I just chose to use my little guillotine here, which seems to be snagging on something. It might be time to get myself a new guillotine. Just checking. Yeah, it's a little over right here. Okay. And let's check this one. This one's not bad. All right. So we've got it all trimmed up. Now let's look at what we've got here. We've got this. And it opens up like this. I think I accidentally put my hole punch away. Let me grab it. This is my one inch hole punch right here. I'm just looking to see, would I rather have this? Uh, would I rather have this? I'm trying to decide. No, this is nicer. So you can change it up. I'm going to find the middle right here. So I'm just going to mark it with a little mark from my pencil, just so I can use my circle punch and I can punch out a notch. And I just like that. It just always says to me, I'm a pocket. <laughs> Hello, I'm a pocket. Pop something into me. So I'm going to just punch out just a little bit. Just put your hole punch in there just a little ways and just punch it out. All right, so we've got that done. Now, the next thing is if you're into inking, if you like that look, then this is when you'll want to go ahead and run your sponge around your papers, the edges of your papers. So I'm going to do that and then we'll continue. All right, I have some scraps that we can go ahead and we could make a little pocket here. So I am going to place my piece right here and I'm going to go up I think that's an inch and a half and then I'm going to go over and up about an inch and a half and then I'm going to lay my piece right on here just like this I just find this to be a very easy way to make a pocket I'm going to trim this off grabbing my scissors which you can't figure out what the heck got done with my scissors. I just had them. <laughs> Let me find my scissors, guys. Okay, they were in the wrong drawer. I'm going to trim this out. I noticed that I did not ink this uh, little pocket up. I probably should have, but it won't be the end of the world. Okay, cute little pocket. I can definitely ink it Maybe like that, just to give it a little color. How sweet. How sweet is that? Now we got to glue this down still, but let's work on another pocket. Does that look good? Or maybe I would like to take and just turn it over and just do a coffee dyed one on this side. I think that would be the right thing to do, a good choice. So adding my glue. Just guessing about how high I need to go up. And maybe this time I can remember to put a little bit of ink on it. And I'll put it right here, just like this. You're going to want to stay away from the fold. You don't want it to be right on the fold, because then it will interfere with the closing of your piece of ephemera. And just trimming it out. So there, there's that one. And then, of course, I can use this for this side. That's going to be really nice. I'm placing it kind of on the corner here of the grid. I'm going to go up an inch and a half. I'll go down on the bottom and then up about an inch and a half. And then I'm just going to pop my little piece right on here just like that. It's too far over. Pull it back. 
don't want to interfere with my fold. And as I do this, I'm going to tell you what is hashtag Tag Me Tuesday. It's a Facebook group I have. The link is down below. I invite you all to join. Over there, you will be able to see other people's Tag Me Tuesday projects because you're able to make a Tag Me Tuesday project and place your picture of it over there. And then it's really nice to see everyone's version of a Tag Me Tuesday project because our personalities come out in our crafting and it's really nice to see all the different variations of the exact same project. I do ask that you stick with Tag Me Tuesday projects and that you don't just show us what you're working on this week. To join, all you have to do is accept the rules and the rules are very simple to be kind to everyone and that there's no selling. That doesn't mean that you can't sell your things. It just means that you can't sell your things on that site. That's all it means. So there is one more question. You do not have to have the answer, but if you would like it, it is hashtag Kathy's Sewing Happiness. Okay. So pop on over there every Tuesday. We have a project, and I will post it, that it's up on the YouTube channel. Pop on over to the YouTube channel, find out what we're doing, how to make it, and then make yours, and then show us all what you've created. It's really great fun, and I invite you all to join us. All right, so, oh, did I not catch my paper? Did I? No, I think I did. All righty, so now we've made our pockets both of them. We made this top loading pocket and then we made our side pocket. Top load side. Now this one you could definitely journal on. This one you probably still could. This one I don't know. Maybe yes, maybe no. Now to me with these it's the decorating that really makes it pop. So because they're so very simple. It's the decorating that really sets it apart. Makes it special. I have some lace uh, ruffles that I made with my sewing machine, two different types. I have those birds I spoke of, and I really, I really like them. Um, I've looked for birds for quite a while, and I just happened to find these, and I went ahead and purchased them. They were on sale this weekend with the holiday and all. So I'm going to just run my sponge on here, hopefully I don't rip off its little feet, and I just want to give it a little bit of color. Aren't the colors beautiful? I just think the colors are just really up my alley as far as going with and blending in with the things that I like to use. So. Isn't that interesting? When I re-ink my pad, it turns out that color for a little while, and then I use it, and then it blends all back. I, I find that very strange. And it is a Tim Holtz refill. It's not like an off-brand. I just find it to be very odd, and I shake it up. I really shake it up a lot. <laughs> it, it always has done that. All right, so I've inked that up. I think this one might be pretty on here. I think maybe... Mm, I don't know about that. Now I have another another thing that I'm going to do with this. I'm going to put it on some tracing paper, some coffee dyed tracing paper. So I think those are going to be okay. I'm going to ink this up too. So just quickly here. Okay, that's probably enough. I'm going to put this back over here pull out these tags. There. I might need these tags. I'm not sure. I thought I might. I've got some tracing paper right here. This one happens to have some gold on it. And let's go ahead and let's glue our birds onto our tracing paper. Did I ink that? I think I did, but it doesn't look very dark. It's okay. It'll be fine. I'll put that on there like that. This one's a tiny one. I think I can get it on the same piece. Right here. Right 
here. Okay. And then there's this one. I think I can get that on that piece that's left. Okay. Just pop it on there like that. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to tear around my bird. Put this over here. Let's tear around our birds here. So I'm kind of going close. Um, we'll just have to see if I've gotten close enough or if I'll have to take some more off. But just tearing it. Okay, Let me throw that away. And I think that was going to go on that one. See, that helps because this is kind of busy. But I think adding the, I don't like all that white, adding the uh, tracing paper helps um, break it up. And so it's not so mm, busy. Maybe that's the word I'm looking for. Kind of wish it was hanging this way. It's this way. Just looking to see. It needs to be a darker one. Maybe something like that. That's not bad. I'm going to set that aside like that. Now this one. This is the smaller one. This is the bigger bird. Let's see about putting. They're both kind of blue. Let's see about putting the larger one on our larger piece of ephemera. Oh, isn't that sweet? That's really sweet on there. I like that one a lot. I'm going to just color up the edge of the torn tracing paper. I don't want that white uh, look. So I'm going to do that. And this one right here, I need to glue his head down better. It's not even glued down, I don't think. So let me see about getting his head glued on. Yeah, get his head glued on. And tearing around the edge like that. All right. Oh, that's pretty on there. I like that one too. So once again, I'm taking away the white look of the paper when you tear it. All right, so let's glue this down. And well, before I get that going, let's see. Will this, how does this look? That one's, that's not bad like that. Do I want to add some more stuff? Remember I had this lace? And because there's white there, I think this would be really pretty. I'm going to cut it right here. It's just a little piece. How about if we add maybe that piece right there, just right on the corner, just like that. So let's add that piece right there. And then let's add our bird. And let's pop it right on there. Put this straight so I can get my bird where I want it. All right. And then I'm going to pop my label right here. A little bit more glue right here. I've got some sorry, I'm not, I've got some crinkled seam binding. Isn't this color beautiful with it? What's this color called? I think, I think this is the proper container, Sea Mist. Now, I have a coupon down below in the description area for Aaron's shop for the crinkled seam binding. And there is a coupon for all y'all. If you would like to pop on over to her shop and pick yourself out some of her beautiful seam binding. 
it's really quite gorgeous and so very easy to use. Okay, I'll cut that. Oh my goodness, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Alrighty, so there's that. And I want to add some flat back pearls, but let's get this one done. I think this color is going to be beautiful with it. And I was thinking maybe this one. Oh yeah, that looks really good. Do I want to add a little bit of this crinkled seam binding? Let me find the end. Right here is the end. And let's just, um, I'm sure I'm straight, yeah. Let's just pop a little bit here. Just like that. We'll pop some more glue up here. Now I'm using hot glue because it's quick and easy and it's really great for doing videos. I don't have to wait for the glue to dry and I can just keep going. So that is why I use hot glue in my videos. And there we go. And let's just put that on there just like that. Very nice. Oops, that's crooked. That's really cute on there. Let's see about this one. Maybe one of those other little ruffle pieces that I have. This one. It's a little different type of ruffle. And i um, <clears throat> thinking I want to just put it right up here like I did before. Kind of curve it. Pop it right there. I'm going to take it all the way down to the edge. And then I'm just going to trim it off like that. And then let's pop our little birdie on there. Adding my glue. And then just adding, I'll pull it over here. Yeah, I'm trying to get him straight on his perch and about our label just like that. So I'm kind of thinking that maybe we need either a little bit of lace right there or a bow and I don't think it's a bow. I think I could add just a little bit of lace right here and pop this little piece of gathered net. It's really net. Oh yeah, that's just what it needed right there. And then this one's like this. Now you can trim this off if you think that's too large. I like the, the gathered net. Now I've got some beads and pearls right here. I, I think we could add just maybe a flat back gold bead right here because that's where the gold tissue paper or tracing paper is. That's really sweet. And then on this one, how about if we add maybe three pearls. One, two, three. Oh, that's really sweet. I like that. And then this one, I've got two pearls left. Uh, I don't know. Maybe just right here, which is it's just right on the tracing paper. Maybe just right like that. Now, inside, you would be able to add more labels. You could add some more uh, birds. You could definitely make a tag to go into your pockets like I have here. Well, that one was pre-made from Chapter 1 Papers. 
but I made one here using the same paper. So you can do all sorts of things with this simple but very effective piece of ephemera. I absolutely love these. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there guys. Bye now.